Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. This is the third video in the lecture series of quadrilaterals and the quadrilateral that we will discuss in this video is a rectangle. Now if you haven't watched the first video of this lecture series where I have discussed the basic properties of a quadrilateral, then I would recommend that you go back and watch that video first and then come back for this video for a clearer understanding. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. A rectangle is one of the most simplest quadrilaterals and its properties are as follows. The opposite vertices of the rectangle are equal. So if I name the vertices as A, B, C and D respectively, then I can say that AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD. So opposite vertices of a rectangle are equal. All the angles of a rectangle are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degrees. There are some additional properties of a rectangle that makes it unique from the other quadrilaterals. So let's discuss them one by one. The first property is that the diagonals of a rectangle are equal. So if I join the lines AC and DB, then according to the properties of a rectangle, AC is equal to BD. Now if you don't know what a diagonal is, then diagonals are basically straight lines that joins the opposite vertices in a polygon. Second property of a rectangle is that the diagonals bisect each other. So if I name this intersection point as O, then I can say that OA is equal to OC and OD is equal to OB. So OA is equal to OC and OD is equal to OB. Third property of a rectangle is that unlike a square, the diagonals of a rectangle do not bisect the angles at the vertices. So if I name this angle as x and this angle as y, then I can say that x is not equal to y. Fourth property of a rectangle is that the diagonals of a rectangle are not perpendicular to each other. So unlike a square, the diagonals are not perpendicular to each other. The fifth property is as follows. The bigger triangles formed by the diagonals of the rectangle are congruent to each other, but the smaller triangles are not congruent to each other. So what this property is trying to say is that ADC and ABC will be congruent to each other and BDC and ADB will be congruent to each other. But the smaller triangles formed are not congruent to each other. So if I name the smaller triangles as T1, T2, T3 and T4 respectively, then T1 is not congruent to T2, T2 is not congruent to T3 and T3 is not congruent to T4. The perimeter of a quadrilateral is equal to sum of all the sides. So the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to L plus B plus L plus B, which is equal to twice of L plus B. Over here L is the length of the rectangle and B is the breadth or width of the rectangle. There is one important fact to know about a rectangle that is the length of the rectangle is always greater than the breadth of the rectangle. The area of a quadrilateral is equal to base into height of the quadrilateral. For this rectangle our base is equal to L and our height is equal to B Thus, the area of a rectangle is equal to L into B. So let's do a quick summary of all the properties of a rectangle. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal that implies AB is equal to DC and BC is equal to AD. All the angles of a rectangle are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degrees. The diagonals of a rectangle are equal and the diagonals bisect each other. The diagonals are neither perpendicular to each other and neither do they bisect the angles at the vertices. The perimeter of the rectangle is equal to twice the sum of length and breadth of the rectangle and the area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth of the rectangle. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram 
or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, <laughs>